uh, in a broader sense. Uh, to whom that are not uh, too much familiar with our company, since we are well, that not that significant in the size uh, so far, uh, but have extensive experience over years. So we are almost 20 years uh, active as a company, and uh, all our staff are coming from the engineering and scientific background that brings us into the, um, well, um, quite a nice position uh, for competitors since everyone has uh, their own expertise bringing uh, the knowledge into the company and summing up uh, that with the experience that we have working with our customers. Um, we have quite a few technologies and, and uh, quite deep development in some specific fields that I'm going to cover uh, later in the presentation. Yeah, oh, uh, I skipped that one. So we are also uh, working with uh, associations and, and uh, uh, try to communicate our capabilities uh, that we have in house. Uh, so just wanted to mention that we are also proud to be members of uh, Tulas quite recently joined and uh, seem to be uh, working for us quite well so far. Um, why it's work, uh, worth working with uh, Workshop of Photonics um, as a company um, having a deep and uh, extensive understanding on our customers and uh, how they operate and what kind of the solutions and at which time they're looking for. Um, we have found out and concluded that we must work with them in every step uh, on the development, starting with the initial concept, going all the way to the uh, system development installation and their facilities. So specifically with the semiconductor industry, um, even big players have uh, the processes that they look for the partners uh, to test, to develop, uh, to bring uh, uh, the feedback uh, to conclude whether these are feasible. And uh, once the sensor is given, uh, they try, of course, to scale it to uh, mid-size uh, production at least, uh, or have uh, the in-house uh, machine to develop the production further by themselves um, that later on, of course, scales to the uh, mass production that we see in a daily basis in, in consumer electronics, for example. Uh, as the company, we develop solutions not focusing on specific material, materials, of course. And, uh, later on, we are going to focus, focus here on silicon, which is, uh, in principle, uh, the key material uh, in the semiconductors. Um, but uh, WP is also working extensively in other um, materials that are used in this segment. Uh, so that would be glass, sapphire, uh, as for example, we have uh, uh, glass cutting uh, and sapphire cutting technology uh, for uh, zero curve cutting uh, to dyes, for example, wafer level package uh, electronics, and uh, later on uh, bring those electronics into the uh, packaging steps and uh, to the consumers eventually. Other processes that um, we see to be necessary for semiconductor market uh, is drilling, as for example, although here we mentioned glass and sapphire, it's also applicable for silicon. Um, even big um, players uh, have demands for specific uh, silicon and glass fire uh, wafers machining to add a few vias, line vias, uh, trenches, and so on in the wafers for, the, uh, for their um, process development and production process too. Um, and of course, um, recently discussed uh, benefits from ultra short pulse lasers. Uh, we do uh, selective modification, selective layers removal uh, for also virus wafer level packaging applications uh, where this process um, is a must to have step after uh, extensive coating and uh, wafer preparation steps. Um, so going into details for glass and sapphire cutting, um, the technology that we have, and I already mentioned, it's uh, uh, zero curve cutting technology that uh, 
allows maximizing the uh, material use so you don't waste uh, the material and you don't uh, have debris on your wafers after the cutting um, it's uh, well considered as a preferred solution so to say by by the users because you protect your own um, production uh, you don't have to add additional washing steps and of course you have um, maximum efficiency and maximum uh, speed so that directly concludes to the uh, the best price price ratio that you can uh, use and offer to your customers too uh, in the screen you see uh, sapphire and also glass cutting uh, examples um, specifically glass can also be tempered this is not the limit for our technology it can be uh, well uh, can be of course tested case by case but all sorts of um, shapes can be cut out from uh, the wafers uh, sapphire wafers glass wafers just want to emphasize this we don't have limitation to use only uh, square or rectangular shapes it can be also circular elliptical and so on and so forth um, limitation in glass thickness so far uh, we have successful results for up to three millimeters uh, single pass uh, glass cutting uh, we consider that not to be the final limit to us uh, it's just uh, in in one one step further in the process the development once we reach um, higher thicknesses in single pass cutting uh, what considers uh, uh, thicker samples of course we can cut not single but uh, multiple passes as well so we don't have really um, a hard limitation in thickness from that perspective irregular shapes i've covered that um so yep uh, the final note is that the key benefit from the technology is uh, the speed that is uh, crucial for um, every uh, semiconductor company that uh, strives to actually grow and to uh, decrease the price so they would be able to cover a uh, larger market and have uh, better sales from their perspective as mentioned our company uh, develops not only the processes or deliver the services we also um, integrate and, and install the systems into the production lines and uh, and uh, r d centers for semiconductor industry and that same uh, applies for the glass cutting uh, uh, based technology uh, for glass cutting workstation that we have um, Compared to alternative technologies, since uh, our own laser dicing method is not uh, the single solution being present in the market, um, we have unique uh, capability to work with rel well, relatively um, thin uh, uh, glasses, uh, which I described as single pass cutting. But we also have unique capability to deliver uh, ultra thin um, glass and sapphire cutting so specifically gas glass can be cut essentially um, as thin as it can be uh, made by the suppliers uh, and um, surface chipping we also have uh, the glass separation after uh, the dicing solutions that we offer to our customers and not one but uh, a few solutions so really depending on the application technology and uh, wafer structure that's being um, diced we can propose uh, our knowledge and advice what would be the best solution to go to go with afterwards uh, other methods uh, and other um, uh, process that we offer uh, based on glass drilling as for example we develop our own products so specifically glass carrier wafers that are used uh, as for temporal temporal uh, bonding can and transferring the wafers in the production lines at semicon industry uh, we have unique technology to in create millions of holes per single wafer at uh, very low cost basis that are crucial for uh, to be uh, competitive and uh, accepted in the semiconductors uh, market. We also uh, produce uh, guide plates for the probe cards. Um, this uh, sector is specifically uh, focusing on 
ceramics to be used, uh, which is a sort of conventional solution um, that was accepted, accepted over the years. And uh, the, the single um, challenge they have is how to decrease uh, uh, the dimensional uh, uh, sizes in, in the holes. So you always want to have denser contacts. So you go for the thinner uh, probes. And of course, then you have to go down to uh, more holes, smaller holes and more holes in, in single, single uh, uh, guide plates. Um, our solution, uh, our solutions, they can be done with the glass or, or compared to what can be done. And um, we therefore are able to offer uh, already uh, down to 30 micrometer holes per uh, probe card, which is essentially impossible to do with uh, ceramics uh, on cost reasonable basis uh, with alternative technology so far. And uh, uh, other limit limitations that we have, uh, well, they are not really uh, crucial, so to say, since aspect ratio limitation in glass is uh, one to 100, which is uh, normally not, not nearly that's necessary. Um, so we're really looking forward to uh, test the limits and, and see what and how works uh, the best. Uh, typical hole diameters are down to 20 micrometers. Uh, um, working on case-by-case case examples, these are possible to be even lower. Uh, typical uh, size tolerance for holes in sapphire, uh, uh, silicon, and, and glass too, uh, are roughly around a micron. Um, also, uh, depending uh, on the case, these can be even higher tolerances. So really the technology that brings you to the, to the edge on what's capable to, what's possible to be done uh, at least uh, these days. Um, alternative uh, processes that we find to be requested by our customers in semiconductors. Um, so selected layer removal, uh, grooving uh, blind holes, uh, uh, all are uh, maybe not requested on production basis, but at least are discussed and looked for um, development processes. So it would be really interesting to um, learn more and find out more uh, where and how they are planned to be developed to production processes in the future. So this is one of the um, things that we are working on now um, to find out the key benefits and, and, and challenges that these uh, companies have today. And what um, uh, other presenters are already, uh, have already covered, uh, it's uh, photovoltaic devices, uh, one of the sector that our company works in semiconductor uh, market. Uh, we, um, over the years, have um, a few successful cases working with um, conventional photovoltaic devices, uh, specifically focusing on uh, efficiency development and uh, opening the contacts in, in solar panels and um, working on efficiency improvement. That was the key challenge by our customers, but since these elements kept development, uh, kept, were developed further, um, the, the, main, um, uh, the main focus for our company so far is uh, thin film uh, based photovoltaic devices. And we are developing uh, process for scribing these, um, uh, these uh, uh, panels, uh, so to say, um, something really similar to what, um, what, something really similar to the solutions uh, and challenges that uh, the last presenter had. Um, differently, we focus on the machine building uh, compared to the development in, in, in the in the process at, at this moment, since um, key challenges are clear and um, our customers are looking for implemented solution uh, that that's already broadly discussed in the scientific publications uh, at this point. Um, so our company is offering uh, laser scribing uh, workstation <clears throat> uh, to do this uh, scribing process. Um, Mostly we are offering uh, UV lasers, so uh, 355 nanometers wavelength or 343 
depending on which specific laser model is chosen by our customers. Um, limit in, in uh, positioning size so far is 300 on 300 uh, millimeters uh, the, based on the size of processing that our customer have, but that can of course be larger if the, if the devices are planned to be used in uh, larger dimensions. Um, here you also see the typical accuracy and then repeatability values on the positioning solution that we're offering. But uh, as our company has capability to customize these uh, workstations, we can also um, have a discussion which exact parameters are necessary and find out the solution that's required for the uh, specific uh, research team or specific uh, production uh, team that, that's looking for this workstation. Uh, uniquely, we have capability to uh, just the focusing, not only manually, but we can have uh, out of focus uh, solution added to the system. Also, we have machine vision system integrated in the platform, so we can have visual uh, recognition on the alignment marks that would simplify uh, finding and working uh, with these elements uh, during the scribing process. Uh, system is fully integrated by us, so we are also offering our own developed uh, software for full system control. <clears throat> so that same applies for <clears throat> single company support after as after sales procedure. And here we can see some, <clears throat> sorry about that, um, some of our current clients. Um, some of them come from um, with their own specific backgrounds, but we see a high demand in uh, semiconductor industry and uh, really broad scale of the uh, tasks that we have so far. Thank you for your time.